Creating an auto text or a step-by-step -step command in Dragon Medical One is pretty easy. First, we need to click on the Dragon Bar menu icon. We're going to create an auto text first. So we're going to go in here. We're going to click on this plus symbol here. We're going to type a name of the command. So I'm going to call it code appendix here. Um, so this is the name of the command. This is what was called. If the way you speak that word differs, you can uh, put, put something else in here. And I'll show you uh, a, a little tip that we've learned along the way. So if you say the, the name is code appendix two, you'll notice the two hasn't actually transferred there. You need to actually define the word like that for Dragon to understand it. Um, I'm gonna copy a blob of text in here. So you'll see it's a long report here. I'm gonna click apply all and that's my auto text created and I'll show you how that works. Code appendix two. So that was pretty straightforward. It's gone and understood what I said and found that text in place and that's okay. Um, we could improve it a little bit better. Like for example, if you wanted to put some square brackets in, actually we'll do it in the um, command itself. So I'll get rid of all of this. We'll go into our command, find those little centimeters there and we're gonna add some square brackets in here, apply all. And now if we say code appendix two, edit that. And you'll see that uh, the focus is taken straight to the first square bracket that it finds. And from there you can next field, previous field, and that kind of manipulation. Um, that's even better, but I think you know we could we could do even better than this. Um, the limitations with auto text is that you can't have any formatting within the the, the text itself. Um, and so what I would say is to re I'd recommend my users to not use auto text, but to use stored text as a step-by-step -step command. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna delete that out of there. We're gonna go into administration, stored text. We're going to um, create a standard text. It's gonna be, oh, actually, no, we'll, we'll go down to multi-field, create a multi-field. It's gonna be rich text because we need bolding and formatting and that kind of thing. So the code I'm going to use is uh, code appendix three. Um, description is going to be marks test three. The report text, I'm going to paste that in there. Let's say we want to bold that and bold that, bold that, bold that. And let's, I mean, you'd never do this in a report, but let's make it nice and green like that. Okay. So the uh, most important thing to remember is this pair here. So I'm going to copy that, save and close. Now I'm going to go back into here and click on manage step-by-step -step commands, click on the plus sign. And firstly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to my new step here. Um, and in order to activate this um, within our reporting software, we need to press a hotkey. The hotkey we need is Alt-3. So that's gonna be our insert. Then we're gonna send the text that we have in our clipboard, which is what Dragon's gonna type. And then we're going to press another hotkey, which is our enter. So three steps, Alt three to insert, send the text and then press enter. And what do we call this command? We're gonna call it code appendix. And hopefully I don't already have another command called code, code appendix here. I don't think I do. So we'll close that. And notice there's uh, code appendix two, so it's not gonna get confused. So now if I go back into my report and I turn Dragon on, code appendix.
and then we have our formatting in there uh, available to us as well. 